Armed men are a common sight here in Kurdish-controlled northern Syria, a country embroiled in a vicious civil war. But one of the gunmen in this truck is not like the others. So how do people react to you when, uh, when they see you and realize you're from the U.S.? They asked me if I'll come over for dinner and stay the night at their house. Jordan Matson is a 28-year-old former U.S. Army soldier from Sturdivant, Wisconsin. How are you? Ciao, Wane. I'm good. For the last month, he's also been a volunteer fighter in the Kurdish militia known here as the YPG. I got in contact with uh, the YPG on Facebook, and uh, I prayed about it for probably a month or two, and you know, just really soul searched and said, "Is this what I want to do?" And eventually, you know, decided to do it. During his two years in the Army, Matson never once saw combat or deployment overseas. But soon after arriving here in Syria, he says he ended up in a battle against ISIS. The second day in, I got hit by a, a mortar in my, on a fight. While recovering from shrapnel wounds, Matson went to work online, recruiting more foreigners to help the YPG fight against ISIS. I've had an ex-military come from East, ask from Eastern Europe, Western Europe, Canada, the United States, Australia, um, you name it, they've been asking. You know, ISIS has threatened all of these countries that I've named to push their agenda in those nations, and the veterans of those nations who love their countries don't want to sit by while this is happening. Back home in Wisconsin, Matson used to work in a food packing company. Other than that, um, we just hang out in here. Now he lives in places like this former restaurant, converted into a militia camp. What are the pictures? Uh, these are all men that have died uh, fighting against ISIS. The YPG are very lightly armed guerrillas. Is this even a flak jacket? Uh, no, this is just a, no. a vest to carry uh, ammunition. So, so basically, people are running into battle without even any armor? Yes. And wearing sneakers half the time? Yes, a combat Adidas. <laughs> U.S. law enforcement officials say it's illegal for an American to join a Syrian militia. But Matson says being here, fighting ISIS alongside the Kurds, is a dream come true. You could not be further from home right now. Yeah, I guess this is the other side of the world. All my life I just wanted to be a soldier, I guess, growing up. and uh, So, this, I just fits well over here. Uh -huh. I'm at peace being here.